Hey there guys, it's Amit and welcome back to DevDreamer. So in this lesson, as we continue our CSS tutorial series, we're taking a look at CSS text formatting and we're going to go over pretty much everything you need to know about text formatting. Okay, so let's begin. So on our screen here then, we have uh, just H2, which uh, has the title on there, CSS text formatting. We have two paragraphs. Our first paragraph has an ID of sentence and it just says, I'm learning CSS with DevDreamer. And our second paragraph has an ID of paragraph with just some uh, dummy text in there right here. Okay, so let's head on over to our style.css file. And let's take a look at the first text formatting property, which is going to be text align. Okay. And you can probably guess uh, what this is going to do. It's pretty self-explanatory. So oh, let's choose, um, let's just do this for the sentence. So idea of sentence, and we can say text align center. Okay. And as you can see, it's aligned it to the center. I've used the same thing on the title here. So if we look at the uh, title. It's got text align center there. Okay. We can do text align uh, left, which is what it was set at originally. We can do text align right. Really simple, basic stuff. There you go, it's aligned to the right. Or we can do text align um, justify. And justify is used um, for things such as like, newspapers will use uh, justify text. It's basically where it's all equally spaced out. Okay, so that's text align, nice and simple. Let's actually move this, this shouldn't be there. Let's actually move this down into our block of code. Whoops. Okay. And then down here, let's look at the next one. The next one's going to be text decoration. Okay. So text decoration. Okay. And um, we can specify this in a single declaration. So we can say text decoration. Let's give this um, an underline. Okay. As you can see, it's already underlined it. Um, and then we can say the style of the line is going to be solid. And let's go for lime green. Okay, and as you can see, it's given our sentence here an underline of solid lime green. And of course, you can give these different values. We can change the color. Uh, we can change this as well. Let's go for wavy. Okay, it gives us a wavy line now. Uh, and we can also say overline. Okay, or we can say line through. Okay, like so. Now, when will you be using this? Well, you can use text decoration mainly when you want to style a link. So let's actually put a link onto our page down here. Let's just say a href and let's just say link. Okay. Now by default, and you can check out my video on default browser styles somewhere. I'll leave it, leave a link somewhere. The link is colored blue and has an underline, but text decoration is going to be mainly used to actually get rid of this underline. So we can go down here and we can say, select the link. Um, we can say text decoration, none. Okay. And as you can see, that gets rid of that underline there. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this tag here. And let's continue. Let's change this. We don't want to line through that because that's definitely what we're doing here. Let's go for underline and solid. Okay. Much better. Now you can, of course, specify these separately. So we can say text hyphen decoration color, and we can say blue. We can say text hyphen decoration line. We can say of line, and we can also do text decoration style. Let's go for dashed. Okay. So similar to other CSS properties we've taken a look at, such as margin, padding, border, you can declare the styles in a single declaration or separately over multiple lines. Okay, let's just comment that out. Right. Okay, the next one we're going to take a look at is text indent. And again, these are all very self-explanatory. This will basically indent the text. So let's just say text hyphen indent. And let's just go for 20 pixels. As you can see, it's indented it there by 20 pixels. Now it's very important to note that what this does is it only indents the first line and not the whole paragraph. So if we take our ID of paragraph, paragraph, and we do text hyphen indent, and let's do 20 pixels again, you can see that it's only the first line that has been indented and not the whole paragraph. Okay. Now for this next one, we're going to select our paragraph element with the dummy text in. So that had an ID of paragraph. And what we're going to look at next is text overflow. Now, text overflow will only work 
if you actually specify two other properties. And those are overflow hidden. And we'll take a look at this in more detail in a future video, as well as white space, no wrap. Okay, let's just give ourselves some space here. Let's move this up. Now, if we take a look at our paragraph, it actually looks different, okay? That's because the text is no longer wrapping. So for example, if we put a uh, border around this, let's just say border, two pixels, solid, lime green. Let's also give it a background color of light gray. Okay, so if we imagine a border or a box around our paragraph element, remember the box model, then we can see here, because we've added overflow hidden and white space no wrap, what's happening then is the text is no longer wrapping. So if we were to get rid of this, you can see that it now does wrap. But because we specified no wrap, it's actually all on one line and it's getting cut off there. So with text overflow, we can actually specify how we want this to, uh, to clip off at the end there. So we can say text overflow and we can do either clip, which is what it is already, or we can do ellipsis which uh, gives us these three uh, dots here, indicating that there's more to read. Okay, so that's text overflow. We can also do, and I'm gonna go back to the sentence up here for this one, we can also do text transform. So text hyphen transform. And this gives us a few options. We can do capitalize, which will, as you can see, capitalize every first letter of, all, of every word. We can do text transform lowercase, which makes them all lowercase. And of course, we can also specify uppercase, which makes them all uppercase letters. And for the final text formatting property, let's go ahead and add a new element. Let's go back to our HTML file, and I'm gonna say, let's do a H1. And let's just say dev dreamer. Okay, so let's select it. The last one we're gonna look at is text shadow. Okay, so text shadow, give ourselves some space again. And here, again, this can be specified on a single line. Let's first, um, let's put this in the middle first. So we'll do text align center um, and don't like the spacing there I want to increase that so I'm going to do margin top let's do 50 pixels that's fine and now let's apply our shadow let me just zoom in as well actually on this that's fine okay so we do text hyphen shadow and now this requires three numerical values and then a color the first value specifies how far we want our shadow to the right. The second value is how far we want our shadow to the bottom. The third value is how blurry we want the shadow to be. And finally, the last value is the color, which is the color of the shadow. So let's take a look at an example. So let's say I want our shadow to be, uh, let's say two pixels to the right. So two pixels. And let's say, uh, let's say two pixels down as well. And you'll see that this will have an effect on, uh, on our text here. Okay, so you can see that this has changed here because it's now adding that shadow. Let's now include a blur for our shadow. This is essentially how blurry we want it to be. The higher the value, the more blurry it will be. So if you said something like one pixel, you can see that it's added a slight blur, but it's still quite sharp. Let's go five pixels. Okay, yeah, that looks better. Let's try 10. Mm, that's a bit too much for the effect I'm looking for. I'm gonna go five. And then finally, as I said, we can specify the color. So this can be any color we, want, we like. We can say yellow, green, whatever. I'm gonna go for a light gray color, like so. Hmm, that's actually a bit too light. Let's just go for gray. Yeah, and now that's perfect. Okay, so the first value, two pixels, is basically how far we want our shadow to the right. The second value is how much we want it going down. This is the blur, and then this is the color. Okay, and there's also other things we can do as well with text. We can do uh, word spacing. Okay, so let's say we want to increase the spacing there. Let's just go for one pixel. Let's do two. 
okay and um, we can also do letter spacing as well let's just do one pixel there okay so there you have it guys that's pretty much everything you need to know when it comes to text formatting in css Rewatch this video if you need to and uh, go ahead and practice these of course hit that like and subscribe button down below and as always i'll see you on the next one